Hey, you farming peeps. How we doing today? Tostra 12 here with you with some more mods on Wednesday, April 24th. Have we got it going on today? This is pretty cool. We have quite a bit of stuff. Well, I'll say quite a bit. We got nine and a few updates. So, not been a too bad day. Some of it I think is neat. Some of it I'm just like, eh. Okay. Nonetheless, we still got them. This is, you know, still cool. We got them. We might not need them, but we've got them. Hmm. Well, that's a little weird. Hmm. Anyway, right here, I have a couple weights. There is the smallest and the largest. They are adjustable weights. And that's exactly what it's called, adjustable weight. <laughs> The, uh, it goes from uh, 600 kilograms all the way up to 2,400 kilograms, which is, there's the 6, and there's the 24. Uh, it's made by SOB Modding, Saab Modding. Oh, and it's available for all platforms. And, of course, it's in the weights, naturally. Boom, slide all over until you see the adjustable weight, 600 to 24. It is $600, and it's adjustable in color also. But there's your standard, 900, 1200, 1500, 1800, 2100, and 2400. So there you go. Got some more weights to choose from. So that's an option. And... Uh, snap. We'll just return one of them. We don't need them both. Just doing that for showing anyway. So it takes up two slots. So that's not bad. Two slots on it for the weight. Not bad at all. Kind of standard. So that's pretty cool. And next right there. Boom. Lizard. I don't think I don't think there's anything. I'm pretty sure there's nothing uh, customizable about that. The Lizard CMIP 11 FP 300. <laughs> uh, it is required 130 horsepower. The price is 6,500 dollars. Author is Pepe 978 P E P P E 978. It's available for all platforms. Just a standard cultivator. And boom. Now if I don't pass it up again, it took me forever to find it because I kept passing it. I'm an idiot. There it is. I found it faster this time. No customization to it, but there it is. I mean, just simple cultivator. It is cool. I mean, it is neat. It takes uh, like $6,500, and it is a 2.8 meter uh width and it takes up three slots so that's not too bad three slots so kind of standard with the uh, comparison to other ones around it so not too bad not too bad not saying we needed it but it's still not bad regardless now this is a weeder and I'm I don't know I'm still kind of torn with the weeders uh, they work on here but not like they do on 17 because on 17, when we done the weeding, it gave us one stage of fertilization. Here it doesn't. I don't li I'm not liking it. But anyway, I'll live with it, I guess. This is a Joskin Scarflex R5 S3. $56,000. Working with the 7.5 meters. It is under weeders. Author is Nico Picks, And it is available for all platforms. Boom. And I actually think I like this one. Let me see the weeders first before I actually say anything. I really like that one. It's pricey. I usually use those. The end game is like that. But I'm not going to say this isn't my favorite anymore. <laughs> because that's kind of cool. Now that's still a 15 meter. So that's still badass. I like that. Okay. I'll probably still stay with that because it's 15 meters. Price difference. I say that's only 7.5 meters. That's a 15 meter. Yeah, I'll be staying with the end game. That's eight. 
And that is a three. Ooh. But you can so gain on your uh, block count. So it's a trade-off. Kind of which one do you need and which one do you want, basically. Now this bad boy, I don't know. This, I don't know. I don't know. I just, that's all I can say. I don't know. Because uh, <laughs> that to me is just cool. I just wondered how it worked. Right, it's just cool. It's a Feller Buncher John Deere FD45. A Feller Buncher attaches for wheel loaders. The price is 19500 Author is Black Sheep Modding. And the platform is all platforms. And, of course, it's under wheel loaders. If I can find it, I just passed it. Roll over, boom, there it is, 19.5. It is not customizable. It looks cool, though. And takes up four slots. Four slots, kind of cool. So let's try that puppy out. Because I kind of want to see it. I didn't use it. If we had it in 17, I didn't use it. Or didn't even see it. So, this is new to me because evidently I didn't see it, didn't use it, so. We'll just see what we can't do. And I'm bleeding. I got all that stuff closed. I do. I'm an idiot. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Well, that was about stupid. You're not supposed to kill your uh, saw or your tractor. Well, I didn't grab it quick enough, but that's how you do it. You just gotta grab it quick enough. Of course, it doesn't take the limbs off of it, so yeah, I'm still a scorpion man. Yeah, I still like the scorpion because that doesn't take all the limbs off of it, so you'll. You'll have to do this. And I'm just not fond of all that, so. Yeah, we'll just leave that there. We'll just, yeah. We'll have a cleanup crew come through. All right. Next up on the list, I'm excited about these two. I really am. For one, look at the size of that puppy. That thing is huge. For a trailer like this, it just kind of, I'm not used to these, I'm used to the uh, smaller ones, the tiny ones we have. It's just, uh, that's what I'm used to, seeing those in that color. It's like, oh wow, look at that big boy. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. I'm actually excited about these, I really am. So, this one and the next one. Oh, boo. Let's see, that trailer is the Kroger HKD 402. I guess I can go back on it. Price is 37.5. It its capacity is 32,400 liters. Author is PM Modding, and it's available for all platforms. That's cool. I'm like I said, I'm loving this new trailer. I'm thinking I am anyway. As far as right now, just the sight of it. I'm thinking that's pretty cool. Even with the hay trailer front end, you won't be able to turn, you know, per se, or back up. Yeah, you won't be able to back up, but that's awesome, I think. I mean, still, yeah, it's, it's going to hold a lot, but you can pull forward. So backing up will be a chore, but it can be done. I've done it. I've said a few Hail Marys in the process, but I have done it. The customization you have in colors. So you can customize the colors. Oh, that's kind of cool. The wheels, or tires, wheel brand. Lizard Michelin 
and Trillabog. And you can go design a white. Colored reflectors. Color. White reflectors. White plus reflectors. Or white. Colored plus reflectors. I like that colored. I think that's cool. Liking that. That's pretty neat. And with all the uh, upgrades, you're just looking at $1,100 more. So, not bad. Not bad. I'm thinking it's cool. I'm still liking it. Even with the hay, the hay trailer front end, I'm still liking it. And speaking of hay trailer front ends, look at this little guy. Isn't that just cuter than a bug's ear? I mean, it's a flatbed low boy with double axle front end. It's like a hay trailer. It's, that's cool. I think it's cool. I'm ex I'm, this is the one I'm most excited about. Legal low boy. It is, of course, it's under the low loaders. It's BR Mod Performance is the author. And it's available for all platforms. Look at that. It's just cool. It does have the straps on it. Matter of fact, it's got several straps on it that I've seen. Let me go over and get the tractor. Because we might need it. Boom. I'm just liking those trailers. I think they're cool. Especially this one. Like I said, it just amazes me that, I don't know, I just can't wait to use it. See what I can put on it. Uh, there's, there's all the straps. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Just in case you missed it. Oh, look at the tag, BR Mod 78. Now that's cool, kind of neat. Wow. I just realized that it had the lights on it too. Just the one. That's cool. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. Isn't that neat? Watch the front. Those slide out. Boom. And retract. Where the back ones slide out and fold up. Kind of cool. So, I'm thinking I may have to load something up eventually on this and try it out. Because that's cool. Now, these trailers, well, <clears throat> the one trailer is here uh, under the trailers. Where I showed you. It's five slots. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. <clears throat> the other, of course, is under the low boys. Low loaders. Boom. Second one right there. Bam. You can change the wheel rim color. And customization of the main color. So there is a few options that you can choose. Hmm. Not too bad. And kind of goofy looking, but it's still not too bad. Thanks for getting your attention. So with all the options, it's only $3,200 more just to change the paint. So that's not too bad. And I can find it in slots. Not great, but it's not bad. I mean, it holds 10 slots. But it'll work. That holds five. So it's not too bad. Not too bad on the trailers. A five and a ten. So that's livable. That's doable. Uh, I don't know what that actually holds because I've got one. Uh, you're looking at three slots there. Hook truck five, six. So it's, it's comparable, I figure. I don't know what that one is. Let's just go look. We can find it in all this mess.
There's a lot of stuff in here. My goodness, I need to sell some stuff. Anybody up for a farm auction? Because I, oh, that's fantastic. I'm needing to have a farm auction. Looks like it. Way too much equipment. Wow. No, you're kidding. I know that thing that says I have one anyway. Or it said I had one. Didn't it say I had one? I think it did. Where I do have one, but I don't know where it would be. I thought all this back stuff back here is all the placeables. That's kind of what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. Okay. Crap, no, it doesn't show I have one. I thought it showed I had one. Oops. It doesn't, so I don't own one of these. So this one is one a, a one slot compared to that one at 10. So it may be cool, but it's not that cool. So that one slot is a winner. I can have 10 of these compared to one of these. So yeah, that's a no-brainer. Okay. Even though I like the way it worked and stuff, it's still not that cool. So, well, there's our mod. Oh, wait a minute. It's not our mods for the day. I about forgot about three of them. Look at that. We had the Lapacho tree. Boy, I about screwed up, didn't I? Look at that. We actually have the Lapacho tree from Estancia Lapacho. In game, available, that we can put down. Anywhere we want. And I actually kind of like that tree. I thought it was cool. So we do have that in game now. And it will cost. Oh, I have to go in there and look. They don't have it on here. Author is XAAD. And it's available for all platforms. And of course, boom. And it's under decoration. And you scroll over until you see the bright tree right there. Boom. 8,240. And takes up one slot. Well, that's what that says. Guess we better go look at the garage, hadn't we? Ooh, I'm glad we did. It takes up eight slots. Wow. Eight slots for a tree. It's cool. Wow. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Eight slots for a tree. I mean, come on. Seriously, just because of the color of it, I guess. I don't know. Next, <laughs> and don't ask me why, I can't answer. I have no idea. I really I really don't know. So I just, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. We have a round bale bunker silo. It is 8 meter by 24 meter. The price is $15,000. It will cost you $60 a day to have. The capacity is about 500,000 liters. And its author is Crazy007. T-R-T-A-R-C-Z-I-007. And it's available for all platforms. So if you need a hay bale bunker, here you go. You can have you a hay bale bunker. And of course, that's going to be in silos under uh, placeables and you scroll over until you see the stack of hay bales running up and down 15,000 60 bucks a day and there you have that let's go to the garage and we'll see what it uses for all those hay bales at least one thing about it because I'm maxed out I've hit my hay bale limit on this map evidently not because I can put a bunker down with all those hay bales it takes up two slots so, not too bad with all those hay bales. Two slots for those. Pretty cool. Weird, but cool. Now look at this bad boy. That is a huge building. I'm loving this. 
huge skylight and it has lights and I'm guessing they're automatic because I don't see a switch so pretty cool we got doors on both ends oh wait a minute look 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 I think I just found the lights boom we have lights so there is a light switch we have doors on each end and a door on the one side right there for larger equipment got lights you got skylights pretty good sized building this is awesome I'm liking this building so far so far but that building Come on, there we go. It's a 60 by 30. It's an equipment building, equipment shed. It is, its author is Rockhound. Kudos to Rockhound. Uh, platform is all platforms. I'm thinking it's pretty cool. I mean, it covers a lot of ground, but I'm still thinking it's pretty cool. And of course, boom, it's under placeables and sheds. And right there. A 60 by 30 equipment shed for $46,950. It is not, you know, of course, no customization to it. Oh, go to the garage. And there it is. 10 slots. Hey, it's not bad for that size of a shed. I'm actually impressed. For this size of shed, you got three doors. Too small and a large and all the lights and the skylights. I'm actually impressed. Pretty cool. For this size, kudos. I'll probably be keeping that or making room for it or trading some stuff out. So, kind of cool. I'm liking that. I'm excited about these mods. The trailers and the building, I have to say. So, I hope everyone liked the mods. Hope you found a use for them. And check out the uh, feature channel list on the right over here. Got people updating all the time. A new addition to it is New Boot Goofin. Go check him out. He's got some pretty cool mods. Check out uh, Farmer Pierce. He does mod reviews as well. He does. He's got some pretty cool ones. Check him out. And I hope everyone liked it. A thumbs up would be great. And share and share away, guys. And until next time, we'll catch you later.